for me, I mean, the beginning was the traditional guys like Jeff Beck, Richie Blackmore, uh, Jimmy Page, of course, and Brian May. They're the guys that made me want to start playing guitar. And then from there, when I started really getting into it, I mean, it was I'd get in the fusion guys like Al Demiola, Larry Carlton, and some jazz guys, because my teacher was into jazz, so he turned me on to Joe Pass and Pat Martino. And I just loved anything that was good. It didn't have to be just rock, you know, any style of music. Anybody doing anything really inspired and really good was, was great for me to hear. And I started listening to stuff that wasn't even guitar oriented, like John Coltrane and Dizzy Gillespie and Charlie Parker. Also from the very beginning, I was into Albert King. My stepfather had an Albert King Livewire blues record and I put that on one day and I thought, hmm, what's this? And he was just smoking up the blues and, the, and so I was totally into that record. And you know, also Chuck Berry and B.B. King in the early days. Uh, you know, everything. Trower, Hendrix, Santana, anything good, you know, is, is there to, to be inspired by. Fly. Uh, there's a couple cool parts in that. One, I think this is the first uh, time I've ever written a one-finger riff. And actually, it's this one, <laughs> sorry, that I finger it with. But it, it's like the silliest thing I've ever done, too, I think. But it's kind of cool. It goes like this. <laughs> So just like octaves, you know, at the 12th fret, and it's just this type of figure. Now, very simple, but, you know, it just had a cool vibe to it. And then it moves into a, a section that's kind of has an E note as a drone in the bass. See if I can get a good sound here for this. It's this type of thing. Yeah, and that's the verse I solo over, which kind of changes through keys as, you know, E minor, and then it's a little bit of an E mixolydian type of thing, so the tonality keeps shifting as the chords change, and you know, it's definitely an interesting thing to put a melody over top of. What I'll do for that type of tone is, uh, well, I like to use the neck pickup a lot for soloing and for clean sounds too, but I'll get a distorted tone and uh, just kind of crank the volume down to maybe three or four. That way it cleans up, but it's still got a teeny bit of dirt. You can experiment with maybe going up to six. That's how I like to get those type of tones, you know? I'm, I'm like a, a guy who I set one tone on the amp and stay there all night. I don't even channel switch, but I'm constantly manipulating the volume control to get different sounds. That's definitely my Jeff Beck influence, where you know, I'll play a note and then bend into it with the note behind it, like. just look at it as, you know, E mixolydian for that one. So really, you know, it's a, a, an A scale over an E chord. You know, sometimes you can get cool sounds by stopping the, uh, the note after it's bent. And sometimes you can uh, let it flow and release the bend. 